President Muhammadu Buhari there. Security agencies have been deployed to the southern senatorial district of Kaduna. Their presence is to ensure the strict observance of the 24-hour curfew in place and that there are no more conflicts in the district, which has witnessed a lot of killings over the past few weeks. The affected local government areas are Zagon Kataf, Kaura, Kauru and Jema, and will observe Eid holidays under lockdown. Correspondent Tessema Kende reports. They hit the road in a show of force. And with them are officials of the state government. They are committed to upholding the 24-hour curfew in the four local government areas in the southern senatorial district of the state. The team heads to the palace of the chief of Kagoro in Kaura local government. They receive his blessings. They are ready to come. They then proceed to the Emir of Jamaa's palace in Kufanchan for the same course. The traditional rulers support their peace moves and promise to mobilize their subjects to be law-abiding. God who made us forgives us and we can't forgive each other. What type of people are we? We should be forgiving. Even if I'm wrong and you tell me you are sorry, I won't have fine. We'll leave it there. The curfew is taking its toll on the people. They are forced to remain at home, and the security personnel attribute it to threats. The government officials say the intention is not to inflict pain on them. It wants them to learn to coexist irrespective of tribal and religious differences. As far as Kaduna State Government is concerned, the uh, issue of security is our priority. It is to also seek for support from members of the general public because information is key, information is vital. More troops have been deployed to the area, but the people are tasked to be law abiding. After tour of the four local government areas under curfew in the southern senatorial district of Kaduna State, the charges for residents to always give peace a chance. They are tasked to recourse to the law should grievances persist. Tassim Akendi, TVC News, Kafanchan.